here with Rob Weber from Microchip. And uh, wide band gap semiconductors are in the news these days. And we've got some of those here, Rob. Uh, we've got some silicon carbide products here. Can you tell us about it? Absolutely. And uh, with Microchip, we're not just here to sell a product. We're here to provide a solution. And our goal is to help our customers adopt SICK with speed, ease, and confidence. And we do that by offering one of the broadest lines of silicon carbide products available in the market today. And that includes the widest range of voltages. So just this week, we introduced a new voltage class, 3.3 kV. Now we offer our silicon carbide from 700 volts to 3300 volts, 3.3 kV, and a wide range of current ratings as well on both SICK diodes and MOSFETs. Interesting. Can you give us uh, some details on some of these? Absolutely. So as you look through the display, the top row shows our discrete devices, and that's where we've got, again, that broad range. Uh, very low RDS on for our MOSFETs at uh, 25 milliohm for 3.3 kV, even lower for some of the other voltage classes. As you move down, you get into surface mount and SOT227 devices, and then we move into our modules. And one of the things that we've done is we've developed the lowest inductance module, again, available in the market today for silicon carbide. So we're addressing everything from medical devices to traction and uh, EV applications. Great. And I see you got a demo hooked up over here. Can we go over there? What we have here is a demo of a three-phase inverter based entirely on silicon carbide. We developed this with a company called Merson and we did the electronics, we did the uh, power switches. Merson provided and developed the cooling system, the capacitors, and the bus bar. And the key was we looked to create a highly dense, highly efficient three-phase inverter operating at up to 150 kilowatts. Interesting, is this a reference design that anybody can get? So not only is it a reference design, it's even an evaluation system. So it's available for purchase. Um, Merson has provided it to some of our distributors for resale. And uh, you can bring this, take it into the lab and start working on it that day. Interesting. Uh, what are the projected applications? So it can go into anything where there's high power requirements like EV chargers, uh, external charging piles, uh, traction for larger vehicles like buses and trucks and, and heavy duty vehicles. Uh, it can be used in grid applications, another, again, important place where you need over 50, typically over 100 kilowatts, but efficient and compressed or consolidated in terms of the size. Okay, um, maybe you can point out some, uh, some of the particular components here. Absolutely. So, uh, Merson developed the cooling system. Here we're looking at a liquid-cooled system, uh, capacitor bank, uh, as well as the bus bars. And all of these are key elements to integrate together if you're looking for efficiency, low inductance in the system. What Microchip does are the MOSFET switches. These are our D3 packets. They're very low profile, very low inductance uh, and high uh, current modules. These are 1200 volt modules. And then our gate drivers are integrated and tightly coupled with the MOSFETs themselves. On top of that, we have an interface card. It brings all three devices together, so it's a three-phase system, and then gives you the ability to interface to a controller. Now, what we also have as part of this kit is the ability to configure the gate driver using software configurability. Uh, and what you can see over here to the right is an example of our uh, programming kit. This allows you to configure the gate driver to get the optimal level of performance in terms of the EMI reduction, voltage overshoot, uh, efficiency, without having to change gate resistors or change boards. It's all software-based. For one last demo, uh, Steve here is going to take us through a silicon carbide fuse demo. Now, Steve, this is uh, encased in plastic. That's because correct. Because you're talking about some pretty big voltages in there, and you'd rather not put your hand on them. That's um, right. What's going on? So what this is is a solid state circuit breaker and we have silicon carbide MOSFETs that we use to break the circuit. The, the circuit consists of energy storage in the form of capacitors, the E-fuse circuit board which consists of the silicon carbide MOSFET as well as current detection circuitry. This board over here is used to create a short circuit and this is represents energy storage. It's the inductance of a bus or system that this circuit is protecting. When you reach a certain current, after the short circuit board uh, is turned on, it will cause the MOSFETs to turn off 
and it breaks the circuit. The advantage of using silicon carbide is that it operates much, much faster than a mechanical circuit breaker, and that limits the amount of peak current in the system. So what we can do is we can, if you like, uh, push that button, and in about a second or so, that will activate the circuit. So the three, the three waveforms that you see on the screen here are the current in the system, so that's the peak current, the voltage across the drain to source, source of the MOSFET, and then the MOSFET's gate to source, gate drive voltage. What will happen is as you create a short circuit, that current increases until it reaches a certain limit that's set within the controller on the e-fuse board. At that point, the MOSFETs will turn off, the current will then decrease to zero, and the voltage across the MOSFET will increase. It will increase because of the circuit inductance up to the point where it breaks down in avalanche. Because the MOSFET is avalanche rated, it's designed to, to take that much energy and there's no degradation in, in its performance. Uh, after the energy uh, comes out of the uh, bus inductance, you can see that the uh, voltage drops down and then because it's a resonant circuit with the inductance and the capacitance of the MOSFET, you can see that it will ring a few times before all the energy settles out. I see. Well, interesting technology and uh, I kind of see where you'd rather not have people put their hands on it. That's right. In, in addition, this operates much, much faster than a mechanical circuit breaker, and that limits the uh, peak current that you'll get within your system. So it lowers overall system cost as well. Gotcha. Well, thanks for that, Steve. That's an interesting demonstration. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it.